Filipino twins, Princess May and Princess Anne Manso, were not born to a royal family. Born to a simple parents in the island of Cebu, Philippines, on November 12, 2003, Princess May and Princess Anne confronted complications at the very tender age. They were born two weeks premature, and what's worse, May and Anne were twins joined at the lower portion of their bodies. The conjoined twins brought so much joy and uncertainty to the young Manso couple, both of whom were already trying to make ends meet by working in factories. When I first saw the twins, I was a clueless mother. I did not understand the health situation of my children. I was worried how I should take care of my newborn twins. My husband and I were just concerned for the situation of our girls. Still, the story of the poor Manso Saimas twins made it to the newspapers, and it did not take long for this news to reach the ears of Dr. Abdullah R. Rabia then executive officer and consultant of King Fad National Guard Hospital in Riyadh City, and now the Minister of Health of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So that sometime in March 20, 2004, Dr. Al Rabia facilitated in the surgical operation that would separate the Siamese twins. His Highness King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia generously sponsored the travel and medical expenses of the Manso twins. When word got out of our twin daughters, this story eventually landed in international websites and caught the attention of the professionals in Saudi. And just like that, we got a call from the hospital head in Saudi Arabia. With His Highness Kindness, the Manso twins emerged healthy and safe after the 16-hour operation to separate them. When we got there in Riyadh for the operation, the people of Saudi were very nice and kind to us. You know, they really treated us as one of their own. Today, the Manso twins are a picture of a good health and happiness. On top of paying for a 300,000 U.S. dollars operation on the twins, His Highness also helped purchase a lot in Barangay Paknaan, city of Mandawe, where the Manso built their cozy family home. Yes, we are very grateful to His Highness. We are especially thankful of his giving my daughters a better way of life with the help of the successful operation. His Highness also provided us with a place we could call our own. We are truly thankful. More blessed than the average Filipino child their age, the twins are able to read and speak in English at 8 years old. Both of the girls go to a small private school, St. Augustine International School, in a nearby island. In this school, both of them are treated as regular first grade students. Both May and Anne are recipients of the scholarship program initiated by the governments of the Philippines and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Um, we are very much lucky, as we would say, and it's our pleasure to be one of the recipient for the from the government of Saudi Arabia, especially for for the king of Saudi Arabia that is help, helping to the needy people in the Philippines, and not only that, and also the the effort of the Philippine government in helping uh, these uh, kids, especially the Manzo twins, and we are very thankful for the king of Saudi Arabia for granting this um, benefit, which is also. Um, we could say that they're helping not only 
um, helping their own people, but they are, they are also reaching out to another side of the world. And it's a very great, it's a great pleasure, and it's our we're very grateful for that. Truly, as the African adage goes, it takes a village to raise a child. And in a world made smaller, help does not have to come exclusively from the same village. The humanitarian efforts of the likes of His Highness King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have truly made this world a better place for children and families. This is why, from our humble country to yours, Thank you very much, Kaunti. We are grateful to your highness. Thank you very much, Crown King Abdullah.